Hey YouTubers, Mackay Evil Mage here, and I uh, figured it's been a while since I did my last video. I think it's been like two months, and as you can probably see, I've got a haircut right now. And uh, I picked up a, a couple of games last week. Uh, I just wanted to show you guys. It's a pretty nice box of games, 35 euros. It's uh, uh, 13 games in there. This is track and field too. Fox do RPG kind of type game, action RPG. We all know this one. Super Mario Brothers and Duck Hunt. Super Mario Brothers 3. Tetris. Here. And they're all in great condition. I mean the the labels and everything they're they're just fine. Just look at that. Tennis. Labels are superb. <laughs> and some of them actually came with a dust cover sleeve. This one is um, Disney Adventures in the Magic Kingdom. I have never played this game yet. Before. Yet. I haven't played this game yet, and I haven't played it before. Right. <laughs> Uh, rescue the emissary mission. I tried playing it for a few minutes just to test out if the car race was working, and it looks pretty interesting. Uh, Pinbot, it's a pinball game for the NES with the sleeve. Soccer, also a black box title Oop. with the sleeve. And Airwolf, based on the hit TV series. I have never heard of this. And I have never heard of a TV series. <laughs> oh well. And Marble Madness. The woman I bought these games from actually gave me uh, Track and Field 2 for free with the manual because she didn't get it to work. And I figured maybe I could get it to work. And I got it to work just fine. I also got this one from the same one. It's a 701 cartridge. It says 1992 at the top there. I think the camera is reflecting back in there. A couple of pictures on the cover are from uh, Life Force, uh, Contra. Um, let's see, I don't know this one. I think this one is from Wild Gunman. I have no idea. This one at the top is Life Force Salamander again. I don't know that one. I don't know this one. Uh, this one's from Duck Hunt, obviously, and this one is from a kill game called Twin Bee. I have played this in the game room on the Xbox 360. It's a fun game. It's really a fun game. It's kind of the styles of a, a space shooter uh, kind of styles. And some of the manuals that came with this. From the Avengers of the Magical Kingdom to Tetra uh, ten Tennis, sorry. Uh, Super Mario Brothers and Duck Hunt. There we go, Tetris. That was a manual for Track and Field 2. And a manual for Super Mario Brothers 3. And she also gave me a, an empty, well, an empty box. Actually, it's the box with the styrofoam dust cover and um, the manual for golf. Because she didn't have the game itself, and it's in really great shape. I don't. Let's see if I can. There we go. It looks just fine. Sadly, I don't have the game to go with it, but as I'm expanding my NES collection, I'm sure I will someday in the future. I was just checking the time there. Um, some other games I also got. Online was the Battle of Olympus. Watched a couple of reviews on this. It looked kind of fun, and actually, it's kind of fun. It's kind of hard, but it's all right. It's all right. It's not too bad. The next one's Clash of Demon Head. I had this one from eBay, obviously because it wasn't never released in Europe, so I had to buy it off eBay from America. Um, got this one from a retail store. I traded in some guy uh, some games for this. Life Force Salamander. Uh, 
uh, Gradius. Got this one online. Together with Galaga. It's another classic. I love this game. And Life Force. Life Force has become one of my favorite games now. I had never played it before I bought it. And DuckTales 2, but unfortunately the card doesn't work. Same goes for this one, actually. Doesn't work. Too bad. Um, is that it? Is that it? No, um, also, if you have a PlayStation 3 and you like RPGs, you should really pick up this one, Nino Kuni and the Wrath of the White Witch. It is an awesome game. It's one of the best RPGs I have played, like, a while. <laughs> I'm a big fanboy of um, Kingdom Hearts myself, and I love this game. I love this game. The music is awesome. The game is awesome. The voiceovers are, you know, very decent. Um, very, very decent. It's Neo Kuni. It's a game by uh, Bando and MK. I don't know if you can see that. Level 5 there. And uh, produced together with uh, the legendary studio Ghibli. And uh, animations that look like this. I don't know if you can see the rest of that. It is an awesome game. If you have a PlayStation 3 and you love RPG games, you should really pick this one up. Especially if you feel let down by, I don't know, Final Fantasy 13. <laughs> I'm, ju I'm just saying. Um, so, anyways, thanks for watching. Uh, like if you like this video. Uh, also, comment down below. Subscribe if you want to see more videos of me in the future. And to you, I say, um, what was it again? Happy gaming. Oh yeah, and if you were wondering about the shirt I'm wearing, you probably didn't really see it in the videos from Daniel Titwell. He's an awesome YouTuber. He um, he's also an awesome guitarist, and he does covers from um, older video games, like um, you know, guitar covers with no vocals whatsoever, from different video games like Final Fantasy uh, four, uh, six, seven, nine. Uh, also from Chrono Trigger. Uh, Donkey Kong, Super Mario Brothers, t uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and loads of other ones. I'm just reach out to the CDs. There we go. It's called Daniel Titwell uh, versus Video Games. I love this album. I love this album. I lo actually I loved it so much. I bought the second one. <laughs> really, if you love metal music. And you love retro video games, so you like both of them like squished together into a big giant ball of awesomeness. You should really, really get this one. Here's got uh, songs from uh, Duke Nukem, uh, Rat Racer, Donkey Kong Country, uh, Gauntlet, uh, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. That's one. <laughs> uh, Beetlejuice, Mega Man 2, uh, Mystic Quest, Super Mario Brothers, uh, Legend of Zelda, Twilight Princess. Let's see here, Sonic the Hedgehog. Secret of Mana, uh, Castlevania 2, uh, Street Fighter 2, Mega Man 2, a different song, <laughs> uh, DuckTales, The Moon, a great song, uh, Contra, Contra, sorry, uh, Tetris, uh, and you know, all those, all those good, good games. So, if you like metal and you love retro games, you love that awesomeness. Get these albums. That's actually a different album. Get these albums. Just check this guy out on his channel. You can order the game, uh, CDs from his uh, channel. And by the way, I'm not getting paid to say this, but you can get the albums from his uh, his website. You can also just listen to his music on his channel. You know, do whatever you like. It's just a recommendation. Check this guy out, Ten Daniel Titwell. I'll put a link in the description. Check you later.